right, so today we're asked to graph the function, the trigonomic function, y is equal to sine x, between the values of minus pi and pi. All right, so if I'm to, first of all, draw my graph, I need to actually have coordinates. And the best way to do that is obviously to sub in as I would normally, as I did back when I was in uh, junior cert, for sine of x. So the x value and then the y value. And the function here is sine of x. So my first function here is minus pi. And when I type in the sine of, and I can do it as the sine of pi into my calculator, I will get zero. Make sure you're doing this with me with your calculator so that you're getting out the right numbers, okay? Your calculator should be set to radians for this to work perfectly. Okay, what you can see here is make sure you do clear brackets, so sine and then brackets at either side, uh, 3 pi over 4, and you should get it's minus 0 0.7 in that instance, and we'll fill in as repeated. Okay, so I've filled in all the numbers here uh, that you should have gotten. Um, if you're not too sure on the reason for the signs of these things, that goes back to your unit circle. So uh, when we talk about this being 1 and 0, this being 0 and 1, minus 1 and 0, and 0 and minus 1, and we spoke about each part having a cos and a sine. So in this instance here, we're looking at minus 3 quarters of a radian. So we're going to be looking down here and we're looking at the minus one here and so that's why it'll end up being minus okay so now once i've got all that information i'm going to draw my graph and sketch it in accordingly okay so i've filled in certain amounts of the graph so from minus pi to pi and all of my answers seem to vary between zero and the smallest being minus one and the largest being one which i know from a sine graph is what i want to see anyway so I'm going to start by filling in minus pi over 2 and pi over 2 because that's essentially half pi and then I'll do minus 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 4 plus pi over 4 and plus 3 pi over 4 and I'm just going to start off by sketching as I would and plotting so along as far as minus pi and I'm going to go to 0 Okay, uh, along as far as minus 3 pi over 4 and down as far as minus 0 0.7. Up, this is going to be 1, minus 1. This is going to be minus 0 0.7. This is going to be 0. Okay, and if I'm to sketch that in, I can see here that it is going through zero, which is what I wanted to show. Um, and I can also see where perhaps it's going to repeat itself again. So I can see that it repeats itself every, that's one pi, two pi. So it repeats itself every two pi. So we said that the period here is two pi and the range is one to minus one. Okay, the next thing I'd like you to, to do is to look at this where we're asked to sketch the graph sine of 2x. So our properties for the sine graphs will still remain the same, the period, the range, but I wonder what effect this 2x might have on it. Let's have a think. So what we're going to do first is we're going to split it into just finding 2x. So if x is minus pi, 2x is going to be minus 2 pi and then if that's the case the sine of minus 2 pi what will that be and if you do that correctly on your calculators you should get zero 
which means the first point I'm plotting here is along as far as minus pi, and I actually don't go anywhere else, I stay there, so at zero. The next one here that we're going to do is three pi over four. So this is x, double that then would be three pi over four multiplied by two, which would be two over one, which would be six pi over four minus. So if I type that into my calculator, and if you've done it correctly, you should be getting minus one here. So we'll follow this. I want you to continue on, draw the graph, tell me about the range of it, tell me about the period of it. And also, if you could write, what does this changing it from x, sine of x in the last graph to sine of two x in this graph, what does that do to the trigonomic function? Okay, so that's your learning check for tonight. I'll see everybody tomorrow.